Okay, let's watch our breaths for a few minutes. One of the reasons we focus on the breath is because it's so close to the mind. It's an excellent mirror for what's going on in the mind. But you can also use it to have a direct impact on the mind itself. If you notice that the mind is in a bad mood, you can change the way you breathe. And that can have a good impact on the mind almost immediately. Another good thing about it is that wherever you go, the breath goes with you. Even though you're not here at the monastery, you've still got the breath. And you've got all the skills that you've learned around the breath. And that can provide you with a refuge wherever you go. And that's the nature of the refuge we're looking for, is something that's inside ourselves. A place we can go to at any time, at any place. As the Buddha said, his teachings are timeless. And this is one of the ways in which they're timeless. Any time you can tap into a sense of well-being inside, a sense of refuge, a sense of safety. When they talk about taking the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha as your refuge, you're taking them as examples. They show the way in which happiness can be found. They show which qualities of mind you can develop that really, really will make a difference in providing a true happiness for you and providing shelter and refuge for you. And it's when you develop those qualities inside that that's when you have a genuine refuge. The outside refuge is a symbol for what you're looking for inside. That sense of peace, a sense of well-being that doesn't have to depend on how things are, how people are, what's happening outside. It depends on the skills that you developed around the things that are really close to you, like the breath. This means that wherever you go, you've got your refuge right there with you, and you can tap into it whenever you want. So try to develop a sense that it's always right here, the potential for getting the mind in a place of safety, in a place of calmness, in a place of clarity inside. And that can be your place of safety. And John Mahabua talks about how when his teacher passed away, he felt lost, and then he realized there were some teachings that his teacher had given him, and John Mahabua had given him, as to how to find safety when your teacher's not around, when there's nobody else you can go to. He said, just stay with that sense of awareness, just being, whatever comes up, you're going to be aware, aware, aware. Then you're not going to have to make any decisions as to whether this is true or that's false or this is something that you can go with or that's not. You just stay aware of whatever comes up. So when the things come up that you don't really understand or you're not really clear about, you just let them watch them pass, watch them pass. And you can observe them from that state of awareness. And that's your place of safety. And a good way to access that is by working with the breath, because the breath is right next to that awareness. And when you make the breath calm and comfortable, it, it acts as a magnet for all your attention to pull you into that state of awareness. So you don't get lost chasing things outside. So try to develop this awareness of the breath as much as you can. And then wherever you go, there you are, you've got it. Your refuge is right there. 